Okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna be explaining level one and two. So for the level one problem, Charles climbs up climbs six stairs and he goes up by up the stairs by one, two, or three at a time. And how many ways can he climb the stairs? So uh we use recursion for this problem. Uh so we take the smaller cases. So if there was one stair then there was only there'd only be one way which is to go up one and if there's two stairs then it'd be two which is one plus one or two if it was three stairs it would be four which is one plus one plus one two plus one one plus two or three and four stairs. Uh, we have uh, so we have one plus three, two plus two, three plus one, one plus one plus one plus one, and two plus one plus one and one plus two plus one and one plus one plus two and that makes a total of seven and uh, as we can see here for we have one and then two and for the twos we have a total of four so and that is one plus two plus four. And similarly for five stairs, we have two plus four plus seven, which is 13. And so for six stairs, we have four plus seven plus 13, which is 24. Okay, level two. Alice the ant starts at a given corner of a cube. Uh, we'll just put it as a unit cube which is a cube with side length one, and we put it on the coordinate plane. And we have Alice crawls along exactly seven of the edges. And she visits every corner once, and she finds that she is unable to return along an edge to her starting point. So in order for her to be able to return to her starting point, we see that if it's here, there's nothing that connects it to here. Uh, we call her starting point zero, zero, zero. So over here, here, and here, there's no way for uh, her to return to the starting point. So we know that these three points cannot have been possible. And, and so she cannot return to her starting point when traveling. So these points cannot be her, so she could not have gone to these points because they're just one edge away. So she could not have gone there. So she must have gone here, one, one, one. And so basically what we have is the first time he moves, uh, Alice moves, she has three choices and the next time she moves she can only have two choices because of the restrictions and everything else uh she has to go along one path after that otherwise um she cannot return uh she, otherwise this condition wouldn't be satisfied So three times two equals six.